With joyful and humble hearts, we glorify God in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. With your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us now acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Blessed are they who follow the law of the Lord. You have commandment that, you pre that, that your precepts be diligently kept. Oh, that I might be firm in the ways of keeping your statutes. Response, blessed are they who follow the law of the Lord. I will give you thanks with an upright heart when I have learned your just ordinances. I will keep your statutes. Do not utterly forsake me. Response, blessed are they who follow the law of the Lord. From every kind of disease, I think number one that we have to do is to be assured that God loves us so much. Naniniwala po ba kayo? na mahal tayo ng Diyos. Yes. Na mahal kayo ng Diyos. Yes. I think that is the reason why we are here. The reason why we are here because we experience the love of God first and foremost. At yung karanasan natin, karanasan ng pagmamahal mula sa Diyos, ay gusto lang din natin ibahagi sa ating kapwa. Ang ating pagpunta rito ay tugon doon sa ating karanasan na minahal tayo ng Diyos. I think that is one important thing that we have to realize. We have to be assured that God loves us so much. We cannot give what we don't have. We cannot love our brothers and sisters if our heart is empty. We cannot be in solidarity with our brothers and sisters if we don't have experience, if we haven't experienced the love of God. Secondly, to go beyond would mean to exercise that virtue of humility and learn to accept also our own sinfulness, our own weaknesses. I always believe that it is in recognizing our sinfulness, it is in recognizing our own weaknesses that we can also easily recognize and understand the sinfulness or weaknesses of our brothers and sisters. Do you believe? Yes. Naniniwala po ba kayo? Yes. Kapag we are in touch with ourselves, kapag tinatanggap natin, kinikilala natin sa ating sarili na mayroon din tayong kahinaan at pagkukulang, mas madali para sa atin na makaunawa sa mga tao may pagkukulang din o may kasalanan. Kasi nakikita natin na hindi tayo naiiba sa ating kapwa. So to, to go beyond would mean to exercise that virtue of humility and to learn also at the same time to accept our own sinfulness. Kahit na minsan inaapi na tayo, kahit minsan binubuli na tayo, kahit minsan pinagtatawa na, na, ta pinagtatawa na tayo, continue to do good, continue to, do, to, to be kind to other people. To go beyond would also mean that we have to offer no resistance to those who do evil, as the gospel would say. Remember, vengeance is not ours. It's God's. It is God's. To go beyond our own comfort zone and to be in solidarity with our brothers and sisters it means also that we have to nurture our life with the Word of God. He will shelter me. He will be my strength in the triumph that me.
Right. 